This is a video about uh, Visio 2010 modifying uh, stencil shapes. I just finished between the stencil, uh, which is a collection of uh, pre-formed uh, shapes, and the shape itself, which uh, is on the stencil. Uh, we're going to go here to the uh, blank drawing. And the first thing I'm going to do is uh, set up a few task panes. We're going to look at shapes. I'm also going to keep an eye on shape data. We won't be changing that, but uh, we want to see how that's affected by the things that we do. First step here is to expand this, and we're going to bring in a stencil. Uh, it's provided by Microsoft. Uh, but before we do that, um, there's some uh, copyright information. Now, um, we're going to go and select, uh, just for example, some network shapes, uh, computers and monitors. Now, this is a stencil. It has a few shapes on it. And you cannot edit anything on this stencil. And we want to edit one of these. So we're going to save this as a, um, a right click and save as and give it a new name to be a custom stencil. And here we'll be uh, just rename this uh, simply uh, custom. You name it anything else that you want and save it. Now you see this red uh, asterisk, which indicates that this is editable. Now I'm going to choose this tablet computer, which is probably a little dated and change it to something most current. Um, what we do is right click on this, copy the shape, and then we'll be uh, pasting that shape in here and you'll see it'll uh, take on a new name as uh, Tablet Computer 13. And so that we don't get confused here, uh, we're going to rename that. And I'm going to call that uh, an iPad. Then we will uh, right click on that. Go to Edit Master and Edit Master Shape. Now, um, one thing we, we're editing the shape, but one thing we can't do here is uh, edit individual parts of it. It selects the whole thing, and, and we don't want to ungroup this or it'll. Uh, sever a bunch of links and also all the uh, data fields. So what we do is uh, right click and we'll go to group and at the bottom of the menu is open group. So this is a way of, of working on things that are grouped uh, without breaking those links. So here we're going to do a little uh, modification to this. Deleting these points. And now we're going to select this whole thing. And just move it over a little bit. So a little more like an iPad. And we're going to hold down the control key, click off the rest of these. And just change this bounding box a little bit. And uh, now I'm going to uh, 
format this a little differently. Fill option. And change the position. We're more consistent with the other shapes. And now we're going to um, change the size of this page a little bit. And it looks pretty good. Let me close that. And it's going to ask us if we want to update iPad. So it's here actually updating the uh, master shape. We'll click yes. And now this is the item we've got. Uh, we can drag this item out. And it's got all the data fields and the uh, characteristics in the original group. Then um, what we want to do is save this. Uh, make sure we save the shape that we've got here. And we finished with that. And uh, for further information, uh, we might want to go to uh, drinkrestructor.com.